Professionals in My Car. I'm your host, Oscar Montenegro. Today, I have Brandy Miller in the hot seat, president and CEO of the Kansas Cooperative Council. Brandy, welcome. Yes, Thank well, you. Welcome to the show. It's nice to have you. Yes, your car is so clean. <laughs> I, have I have a lot of cast guests in here, so I have to keep it clean. It's very nice. I'm, I'm a little jealous. It's like my little hotel room. Yeah. So we're going to jump right into it. Let's do it. What's the ultimate mission of the Kansas Cooperative Council? Sure. So Kansas Cooperative Council, basically the fundamental mission is to make Kansas the best state to operate a co-op in. And we do that through three different things three big main buckets of focus. One is advocacy, spend time in Topeka, uh, really focusing on educating legislators on the importance of co-ops in the state of Kansas. We do that through promotion. Um, we do a co-op month. We engage with other agricultural related entities to promote co-ops. Okay. And we do that through education and the huge wide range of education, uh, education of directors of co-ops, which are often farmer producers. Mm -hmm. um, we do education of college students that are interning within okay. co-ops. And okay. then this summer we're rolling out a youth program as well for high school kids. How exciting. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. It's a sweet job, actually. So at this, at this level, as a president and CEO, what leadership competencies does it take to execute on this mission? Very important mission. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think... It's a unique position in that I am a leader in an association. And so I think actually it's pro there's probably parallels in everyone that kind of gets to that point. But mm. I am really working hard to make sure I'm meeting my members' needs. And so whatever that looks like, whatever the capacity of that looks like, whatever that scope is. So uh, it's really being focused, but also hearing patterns. And so mm. I go out and spend a lot of time meeting with my membership across the state of Kansas and just making sure that if I'm seeing some patterns of concern or issues, I pick up on those and I execute against those. Mm. I find solutions to issues that are really troubling the co-ops in the state. This is a unique uh, ability. It sounds more like a craft than it is something that uh, you can read in a book. Yeah, it is. It's. I think it does take some unique abilities because you have to be able to communicate well, but at the, a very wide spectrum. I mean, I spend time with farmer producers and I spend time with legislators in Topeka. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so really it's making sure that I can do a good job of communicating what our concerns and issues are. And then also finding solutions to the problems as they come up. Excellent. Finally, what's the one piece of advice that you would give other presidents and CEOs in this industry in, in their ability to succeed in this type of position? Oh, the well, one piece of advice. Well, I think it's really important to not burn a bridge. Um, relationship building is fundamentally important. And that's challenging because you're often maybe competing programming or you're lobbying against an issue. And so you can still have differing opinions about mm. things, but at the end of the day, not ruin a relationship because you really have no idea, especially in agriculture and in Kansas, where it is such a fundamental piece of the business that we do. Ruining relationships will certainly come back to haunt you over and over again. I constantly see it. So I think that's, that's pretty important. Randy, this has been excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks this again for getting Yay! in the hot seat. It's been wonderful. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, if you're curious about growing your organization, personal or professional development, please contact me at oscar at aspenbusinessgroup.com. Till the next time, remember leadership is everybody's responsibility. Step up.